Hi there YouTubers, so this is just an update. I did a, uh, covered a story not that long ago about a guy called Paul Behrman who was living on a um, massive complex belonging to the Jehovah's Witnesses and then the Kingdom Hall Trust later acquired it off the Jehovah's Witnesses by signing a piece of paper obviously and they carried on and wanted to sell it. So there was quite a few kingdom halls on there and they slowly wound them down and moved them to other places so this is in pioneer place and i'll just show you the article which is up for sale at the moment this actual place so it's through acorn um it's a quite a big plot as you can see now i covered this story because a, a gentleman in here was basically was well they were trying to stop him have access so i'm going to try and show you access from this area right over to here to um, get his mail and obviously this is an entrance from the main road you come down here and you come in this way and you go around you park whatever this is for the Jehovah's Witnesses as well and then you go out on this this is the exit so it you know ran quite smoothly that way anyway um, on this gate here there's people's mailbox to all the residents and to everyone there so any mail came um, to there because there's two flats in this area uh, which people used to live in and uh, so what happened in the end the Kingdom Hall Trust decided that they wanted to bar off this area here stopping access to this area even though they've been access to this area for quite a long time and they put a fence up which I'm going to show you shortly so I'll just show you the outside more and the entrance which is this and would I'll just show you as we go so listen in folks so this is Pioneer Place on the outside, this actual sign. And the Jehovah's Witnesses actually named this road called Pioneer Place. I don't know of any other road that's been named by Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm just saying that they named this road. So hold on, there's more. So this here is the um, actual mailbox that the postman puts the mail in on this gate which was the entrance gate into this complex so I'm not too sure if that is all being sorted off out as in because they were trying to stop um, people going to actually get to this mail and also the access so let's move on and just see um, I will show you and point you out about the fence because this is back in July and obviously a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses have left the witnesses now by waking up which I'm hearing on my channel and I'm just going to cover more of the inside so it's just bringing it a little bit more together and updating it so as you see at the time this is a well metal bars that they dr drilled the holes in the ground in the tarmac and sunk these in these quite vicious almost like um oh I don't know if like army not army prison horrible with wire across it you know like a, keeping you in like cattling it's horrible anyway they put pieces of wire across there so they were about neck height approximately i would say um you could walk into them you can't see them. not very good anyway i think they are removed but they started it from this area and I will move it on a bit to the next bit where they continued around here to stop people. So hold on. So as you can see, the fence goes here, round this way. Um, as I say, they have taken it down as far as I know. I'm just going to move it on a little bit. So I'm just showing you there. And I'm uh, just going to talk through this, so just speed it up. So it would join across there all the way up to stop them going this way. So quite horrific. They're like, they remind me of bunk bed corners. You know those old metal bunk beds? That's what they, they remind me of. Um, not very nice. You can't really see them as well. You'd walk into them. That's what I say. Pretty dangerous, really. Uh, not, not very smart putting them there at the time. Um... Anyway, so they were trying to stop everyone basically going, driving in that way and putting the wires up. So look, they sunk them in the air into the ground. I'll leave the video below in the description box so you can check out. This is before 
um, which is now because this whole place is up for sale. And I'm just going to talk further on that. But hold on, there's more. One minute. So this was a letterbox that you could put all your mail in that box so on it was on the gate they put it the postman put it on the gate in the post box and residents and obviously other people from the kingdom hall or whatever put it into this box so people could easily get it because i think there's some e quite elderly people who live in the bungalow area there and so i'm just going to move on so hold on so this has been happening for me many many years it's just an old practice and sort of a right of way if you see what I'm saying, because it's been used for so long and, and that old walking way. So hold on. So back to here, this is the area what I was talking about. So that's where the fence was going from that area there to there. And so the residents who live there in this part could all use this here and this entrance out here. But, um, you know, the right of way was this way and they were just trying to cut it off i i'm not too sure as i say if there is access over this the residents have and um whether they have access to the post box i don't know this i hope that's it being resolved um it's not a big deal is it you know there's plenty of land there for everyone whoever buys that and if you've got a whopping <laughs> 3.5 million quid you can buy that and it says offers in excess so they're not wanting three three thousand three point five three million five hundred thousand right get it out right and offers in excess so this means that they want more than this they want sealed bids they don't care where the money's coming from they just want that money and i just wonder how the residents who are Jehovah's Witnesses, 99.9%, 1% A, I'm wondering uh, how they're going to deal with another religion. Because if I'm just saying it can be any religion. First of all, it's their brothers and sisters of their own cult, you know. Well, you know what I'm talking about, of all Jehovah's Witnesses. And then suddenly it's now... I mean, another religious group. I don't know how that's going to make them feel because um, they will be the minority, you know, because they're going to do one way believing and this are going to do this. They won't worry. The people who buy this, they're not interested. But for these people, I don't know. I don't think they're going to cope with that too much, you know, because obviously Jehovah's Witnesses don't really associate with other people. I talk to everyone, really. I don't care, you know, other religions, I just speak to them, you know. But what I'm saying is, you know, they're just going to feel a little bit pushed out a bit, if you see what I mean. At least they've got a load of parking spaces there. I think that's just for them. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I just thought I would uh, update you a little bit on that. Mikey and Kimmy have, uh, you yeah, know, they've, they've actually spoke about this. Um so this area here is where the actual flats are, two bedroom flats, two bed, uh, two flats of two bedrooms, and uh, so and these are kingdom halls, and uh, they were going to build on this area. A, money was saved up to build a old people's home and one more kingdom hall for the um, foreign congregation and that money was saved up and it never never made it into a physical kingdom hall or physical old people's home literally that money went somewhere else so or into the kingdom hall trust it's quite a big area these halls i mean look at that it's massive isn't it the conference it's like a conference set you know isn't it you're going there to um learn about well it is it's a business anyway isn't it but do you see what i mean if you look at that Huh, interesting. It's it's very much that way, isn't it? That's you can see the amount of controlling, can't you? When you look at it like when you now is outside the picture and you look at that, you look like you were just learning how to sell Avon or something. Or somebody's going to um you're gonna to go to the cinema. Huh. Well, isn't it a cinema now? Isn't Watchtower just a big cinema? So that looks like um the uh, is that another no it's another kingdom hall look see so quite big 
and uh, they were all moved off and shifted and to other areas so it's quite big a lot of car space a lot of tarmac there Ooh, yeah quite a lot so I'll leave links in the description box for this and if you've got some spare cash you can have neighbours as Jehovah's Witnesses there's only a few I shouldn't worry about that too much Thanks for listening in, everybody, and uh, yeah, bye for now.